unbelievable guys northern islamic group issues strong warning to tenobu over Kano crisis see their statement that shocked everybody nigerians it be like say Kano, Kano state don't turn to something else so bass goes everywhere in fact currently the state don't turn upside down and uh, it can't be like say they don't get to emia they depose emia uh emia bayaru adu in all greek commerce you see no good leave uh, the the restricted emia sanusi lamedo he don't enter camp state he don't he don't sit down for palace the other one too he don't still sit down for a nursery palace they say that one are the smaller one so as it is right now eh uh, can state don't get to emias you understand and this is not good this one na trouble now you carry for head like that if something like this is happening uh yesterday article abubaka said if war breaks out in Kano State, they should hold President Bolame, Tinubu government, responsible for sponsoring what is going on in, in Kano State, Itoka. Now, this council of uh, Olamas in Kano, Lamas, they are not an Islamic group, okay? They have issued serious warning to Tinubu over Kano crisis. Okay, let's see why this is happening and why the Kano crisis is connecting President Bola Metinubu. If you are just joining us, guys, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Make Nigerians, they understand waiting they happen. I beg, subscribe now if you just join us for the first time. Thank you and God bless you. The Council of Lamars in Kano has issued its term warning to present Bola Ahmed Tinubu, urging him to avoid using federal power to middle, middle in the ongoing dispute with the Kano Emirates Council. This interference, the caution, could escalate into a significant crisis that may destabilize the states. Recent events within the Emirates have raised concerns among the Council of Ulamas who fear that without careful handling, mm -hmm. the situation could spread into chaos. The council state chairman, along with 21 other prominent religious leaders, expressed their worries in a formal statement, highlighting the need for President Tinubu to take necessary steps to ensure peace in the state. Although, it is within the State House of Assembly's jurisdiction to create laws for good governance. The state government requires the federal government cooperation and support. The state's the statement to read. This assumption underscores the delicate balance of power and the importance of collaboration between the states and the federal authorities. The council referred to the recent amendment of the current state emirate law by the state assembly which was subsequently assented to by the governor this amendment has become a point of contention with one individual taking the matter to court claiming in infringes upon his fundamental human rights the council acknowledges he, this individual's right to seek legal redress but emphasizes that the governor as the chief executive of the state has a duty to maintain order the council statement strongly opposed any form of violence enforcement or resistance to the court's order urging all parties to avoid measures that could exacerbate the conflict mr president as the leader of the nation should not allow the context for a royal stool to degenerate into violence we are calling on mr president president bola metunibu to allow the people of kanu state to resolve these issues amicably without the use of force and without loss of lives the council employed kanu state historically known for its peaceful coexistence among diverse groups is at a critical junction 
the Council of Lamas comprising influential figures such as Sheikh Adulai Ulawas, uh, Le Maniki, and Ibrahim uh, Kwali, Professor Mohammed Babangida Muhammadu, among others, has vowed to mediate and reach out to the contending parties to foster a peaceful resolution. The Council's plea to present Tunable is rooted in the desire to preserve the state peace and stability. Kanu's state is one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria. Therefore, we, the undersigned, call on both contending parties to use civil means in resolving their differences to allow peace to reign in the state, the statements continued. The involvement of the federal government in local affairs, especially those consigning traditional institutions, is a sensitive issue. The Council of Olamas warning highlights the potential danger or dangers of such interference, holding hands of approach that respects the autonomy of local governance and traditional system. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.